Hi, this is Paul from Cheap Phone Reviews, and this is an unboxing and review of the Moba Moby Wire Pictor. Okay, so let's have a look into it. Um, this was £10 in the EE store plus £10 top up for a pay as you go SIM. It's a little bit different to the usual £10 phones. We've got a 2 megapixel camera, it has got internet, and it's an MP3 player. Most of them are MP3 players these days. Let's get my little baby knife and have a look. See if it's any good. Do, 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 do. Oh, right, yeah. There you go. Right, what do we get in here? What is this? Quick start guide, and then maybe less, more instructions. An actual three pin plug, which is nice. See, that's a good idea, that is, to have it on the front. Because when you have it underneath, you've got to bend the wire up. That's quite a good idea, actually. And then, what else we've got here? USB to micro USB. Standard. Some very shocking headphones, more than likely. Oh, yes, they are shocking. But it's nice to get a pair of headphones in the box. This just say you're in wherever, and you want a mobile phone, you think to yourself, oh, I need to listen to some music. There you go, happy days. Battery as well, radio. Big enough screen, I like that. I like that. Oh, very nice. Okay, so it feels very plasticky, but it's gonna, it's 10 pounds. Right, yeah, so we've got space here for a micro US, uh, micro SD card, and there's space for a SIM card. Um, I don't believe we've got a SIM card here to try. Let me just have a check. I might have one with me, you never, never know. I did have the orange one for that, but I don't know what I did with it. I think I took it to work. Uh, no, I don't know what I've done with that. Well, aren't you silly, Paul? Hopefully we won't need a SIM card to make it work. Here we go. Get the battery in there. I do like the big screen on it, that is different. Do, 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 do. Oh, I like the blue keys, they set it off there. I don't know, when mobile phones first come out, if you had a phone with blue keys, you were the nuts. I know, I don't know, it's only like um, blue filtering underneath, but for instance, the Nokia 8800, when I got that phone, oh, I paid 497 quid for that phone. Oh my God, did I think I was the nuts, but then again, I was at the time. Okay, rightio. So let's see, the, for starters, let's see how the numbers come up on the screen. Oh, that's a letdown. That is a letdown. They could come up a lot bigger than that, couldn't they? That's a bit of a letdown. Okay, right, yeah, let's go into the menu. Okay, menu up the top, we have contacts. Standard. Go along, we've got messaging. Let's have a look at the messenger. Got predictive text. Why do that? Why do that? Why not have that white? Hmm, very, very strange. Anyway, I do like the feedback off the keys as well. That's nice. But they could have made that, they, you might be able to change it, but they could have made that white, the, the background keys. Let's have a look. Hmm, no. And they could have done that. Oh well, there you go. Going over, phone history, so that, that'd be where your calls are. Profile, let's have a look at the ringtones. Ding dong, Barbara, ringtones. <laughs> Loud. And then they go into a tune, but really, 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 really quiet. Go from one extreme to the other, and you can set from your files. That is really going from one extreme to the other. Ringtone volume. Oh, I don't want to. I didn't want to save it. 
why can't I select that? I want to select. Ah, oh, look, it's there. Oh, you can only just about see that. Anyway, that's right up. Mm -hmm. Ring, oh, don't ring tones. Where's message tones? Message tones. Very quiet. Okay. Let's come back out of that. Down here we've got games. We've got snakes. We've ripped off snakes from Nokia. Oh, looks quite interesting. Oh, I'm going to leave on this side. Oh my god, what's going on? I might actually plan this phone tonight. Anyway, let's get off that. Snakes. Uh, so it's got snakes, there you go. Going across multimedia, camera. We need a camera to do the memory card. No, we don't. Uh, memory card to do the camera, no, we don't. Wow, it takes me back to the 32 10 years. Oh, I moved the camera too quickly. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, there you go. Yeah, it's better than it's better than a VGA camera without a doubt. But there you go. Images, video recorder. Hi, this is Paul from Cheap Phone Reviews, and I am testing the video camera. How cool! Okay, let's see how that come out. Hi, this is Paul from Cheap Phone Reviews, and I am testing the video camera. How cool! That's all right, you know. Picked up the uh, picked up my voice very well, which I'm quite uh, yeah, it's quite good. Video player, audio player, and then sound recorder. So you can uh, do a voice record, happy days. It's always good. FM radio. Let's have a look. Ooh. Earphones are plugged in. Did that say do not listen to it while driving? Oh. Well, I don't know how you turn the volume up when you're on this. How the hell do you turn the volume up? Because that goes up and down on the radio. Well, there you go, but the radio does work, which is good. Okay, going back into this. Where are we at? Down here. File manager. So this would be your file on your phone, and then obviously the file on your um, on your SD card if you put one in. Bluetooth. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Happy days. Bluetooth. See, perfect for you taxi drivers. There you go. Bluetooth as well. Settings. Typical phone settings, date, time, power off mode, display. Can we turn the display up or do anything like that? Power, LED brightness, that's better. Show time and date on display, yeah. Auto update time, flight mode. Really, do you need flight mode on one of these? Security, phone security, call settings. Communication, very nice, look at that. Okay, so again, where's the internet then? It said you've got the internet. It says on the box, int, oh, there it is. How did I miss that? Extras, torch. Do you know what, that's actually quite powerful. That's more powerful than the Nokia ones. Well, there you go, me. How many days? Calendar. Alright, alarm, well time, and then you've got calculator. Going over, we've done that, and the internet. 
we all know that you're not going to browse the internet on this and if you if you do want to browse the internet on it it's just literally going to be very very basic it's if you wanted to check a football score or something like that that's the only reason why you'd ever go on that internet but yeah do you know what for 10 pound i'm quite impressed two megapixel camera speaker 3.5 headphone jack mic and then your micro usb charger up the top torch very basic but it's a nice size phone you know it is a nice size phone um yeah let's check the specs on it okay so i was hoping to tell you what the battery life would be like but i can't find any website that tells me how long the battery lasts for um i can tell you it's a thousand milliamp battery so you're probably looking at i would imagine a few days um a few days at least a few days standby and probably about eight hours talk time i would have thought it weighs 83 grams i can tell you that um and it can take up to a 32 gigabyte memory card but i've searched six different websites now and i cannot find how uh how long the battery lasts and it doesn't sound a handbook but i will show you something about this handbook check out that i have not seen that i don't think i've ever seen color pictures in a in a book to tell you that's in, that's proper instructions the amount of people that i get coming to my shop and say oh has it got any instructions yeah it actually has wow there you go proper instructions anyway guys so there you go that has been my review uh, unboxing and review on the, the mobile mobi what mobi wire uh piktor 2.4 uh, it's a nice little phone. It's it's ideal for uh, the person who just wants a basic phone and you uh, hold for a long time. If you read it, you'll be able to know. Yeah. It's got little quick things here as well. well it's got one at the top. I would imagine you can set these ones as well. But there you go. I'm impressed with it. For a tenner, you certainly can't moan, can you? So if you want a cheap little phone and you're on EE, that's your, that's your uh, thingy, and obviously you'd probably be able to, if you was on pay as you go on EE, you could probably upgrade to it for a tenner as well, so you wouldn't have to buy the £10 top up. But there you go. Thank you all very much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up. Sub buttons down below. Subscribe to see lots more cheap phone reviews. See you later.